there by the shore. What do you think? It's loud. We're at Sheboygan County Christian High School where tonight the Eagles take on their crosstown rival Sheboygan Lutheran. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, Christian comes in one and eight on the season. Uh, Lutheran comes in much better than that. Uh, what do you think is going to transpire in tonight's game? Well, you're talking about a Sheboygan Lutheran team that really battle tested. I mean, you're talking about a team that played five ranked teams already. They come in here with three losses. But I mean, like I said, they've been really battle tested. Sheboygan Christian and Coach Lipsy, who not too long ago had the program right at the top of the heap, struggling a little bit on the bottom of the conference. They did beat Kohler and they lost just a one point game to Elkhart Lake, but they have been struggling and scoring seems to be a trouble for uh, Coach Slipsy. One of the things that we'll see tonight is a lot of underclassmen on both teams. Uh, Tyler Zastro, only a sophomore, is the second leading scorer on, uh, on, on Lutheran's team and uh, the leading scorer for uh, Christian is uh, a sophomore by the name of Josh Strecker. He's averaging a little over 13 points a game. So underclassmen are the key. Yeah, and then there's uh, two freshmen, too, on both sides of town. Two, uh, the Kelly kid from Christian and uh, Jers, of course, a three-point shooter from Lutheran. So there's a lot of youth served. And I remember watching the game last year, the JV game, and it was very entertaining game. Both teams were, were very good up with Oostberg in the top of the JVs. Unfortunately, you know, some of these kids have had been pushed up to the varsity and moved up to a higher level. And, you know, when you're playing against bigger and stronger kids, that's a little bit, you know, difficult. Now, doesn't Lutheran have a pretty good player, uh, number one, kind of a tall kid, uh, Decker, I think his name is? Yeah, Sam's still having a, a wonderful season. He still leads the, the whole state in shooting. He's uh, averaging 30, 31 points a game, number one in the entire state. I went down over Christmas break and watched him play a very good basketball team in Cuba City and got pounded up, beat up and down the floor, and then they played a very good Racine Lutheran team. And I thought the Sheboygan and Lutheran kids did very, very well. They were outsized out, man, but in general, the team played very well. As so did Sam Decker. And second day, came back against the scene. Lutheran scored 33 points. But I think the team ran a little bit out of gas. They gave a lot of effort against Cuba City, but uh, didn't come up with a victory. Now, they haven't played since, you know, December 27th. So it's been a while since Lutheran's been on the floor. Hey, it's been a while since Christian played. Their last game has been the 22nd yeah. of December. Now, one thing, as we watch them warm up here, they Christian has some tall kids. They're not a short team. No. And it always seems like they have tall kids. Yeah, they do. They got to do have some tall kids. And, you know, they're going to have to do something tonight. You're not going to be able to stand up there and basically pay man-to-man. -man. I would think they'll try to do some kind of different defense, a zone defense, something, make it maybe Lutheran shoot from the outside and hope they miss. And, you know, they got to have allow one and out. There's no question about that. It's going to be interesting to see tonight, too, you know, who is going to face Sam Decker tonight. Uh, I mean, there's been some good ball players the last few years. Brett Sun last year was a good one, and I know guarded Sam a little bit. It'll be interesting to see who's going to cover number one tonight. Now, one thing that uh, Christian probably needs a little bit of help with is their ball handling, and, uh, you know, they're not real skilled. Uh, you would think that pressure on the guards would uh, really help the Crusaders. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. I think Tyler Zastro the last few weeks has really stepped up. I said at the beginning of the year he'll be real key. First couple of games he kind of struggled a little bit, but, I mean, he was just on fire against Cuba City and played very well against Oostberg in that game late. We saw him play well against Elkhart Lake as well. And, you know, the younger guys and those guards, we'll, we'll see what they do to these, these uh, Eagles here. All right, with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwateriswierd.com. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook. 
and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Some people might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. And back at Christian High School, they're announcing the Crusaders right now. Uh, number one, Sam Decker. Number five, Josh Wheeler. Number 23, Phil Leipom. Number 32, Tyler Zastro. Number 35, Nick Redeker. Redeker and Decker are uh, seniors. Zastro and Leipom are sophomores, and Josh Wheeler is also a senior. Number 11, Braden Adi. Number 23 is uh, Caleb Kelly. Number 15 is Joshua Stecker. He's the leading scorer on uh, the Eagles. Number 10, Kyle Calvert. And I didn't catch the name of the fifth starter. We'll pick that up when they come out uh, for the jump ball. The officials for tonight's ball game are uh, Andy Hansen and Scott Staus. There's Scott. Christian coached by Brett Flipsey. Lutheran by uh, Todd Decker. We have our uh, normal setup tonight. We have a two camera operation with uh, Kerry Kautzer out in the truck doing the directing. Up here by us is Richard Bartson. The floor camera is run by Eric Wiesman. That fifth starter for uh, Christian is uh, Andrew Korber. Korber goes 6'4". Uh, Stecker's six feet. Uh, Kyle Calvert is 6'4". We mentioned that uh, Christian is still pretty tall, even though they uh, don't have an outstanding record. Decker jumping center for uh, Lutheran and they control it. You yeah. mentioned a little bit different on the defense, Chris. It looks like they're playing a zone. I would. Wheeler from outside nails a three. And there's that early pressure by Lutheran gonna take Brady Adi away. So we mentioned Christian one and eight. Lutheran comes in at six and three. A lot of dribbling, not making much penetration. Calvert is being guarded by uh, Sam Decker. The ball tipped out of bounds by Wheeler. Lutheran, tipped away from Kelly. Sorry about that, Marty. Lutheran comes in 72 points a game. Christian just 41 points a game. Ooh, that was very close to being over and back. Two point attempt, the high archer is no good. Offensive rebound goes to uh, Kelly. And then putting it up and in was Andrew Korber. Wow, I'll tell you Marty, we are behind this basket, a side basket. I, it's gonna be tough for me to see stuff. Sastro missed a 10 footer. And then we get a whistle and a foul is going to go on Kyle Calvert. There you get a good shot of Brett Flipsey. Decker doing the inbounds chores. Gets it in the Zastro. It's going to say Flipsey in his 15th year, 208 wins. And Decker with a three. Lutheran starts off with a couple of three-pointers. They're up six to two. It's like a man-to-man -man press. Hey, Chris. Work them up the floor, no question. Good idea. You mentioned in the opening. Stecker looking to shoot it, but uh, he was open if he wanted to shoot a long three, but didn't load it up. Calvert. Middle is wide open, good cut by Stecker, and he bounces it in over to Korber, and he makes it, and he's fouled. Oh, 
Bill Lightpalm committing the foul. Christian uh, with a victory by two over Colder. One point lost to Elkhart Lake, but they've already played Howard, Cedar Grove, Oosberg, and Ozaki. Can't complete the three-point play. Skip pass over to Decker. Good recovery that time. Wheeler from that same spot. He had a three earlier, and he nails another one. As I said in the opening, I let Lutheran shoot their threes, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> you had mentioned force them to shoot from outside, but they're making them. Yeah, you got to hope they don't make them, but so far, Wheeler and Decker, three for three from out there. Kelly, good help defense that time by Light Pump. Shot no good by Korber. And Decker with the rebound. Wheeler gliding through wow. the lane, banks it in. And even he's got a smile on his face with that shot. Eight points for uh, Wheeler. Double team a little late coming up on the pressure was Redeker, otherwise you'd have had a steal, but Zastro gets it. And Luther out on the break. Committing the foul was Caleb Kelly. We mentioned Lutheran is very battle tested. They played five ranked teams. They've played Green Bay New, which they beat preseason number seven. They've played Howard's Grove, ranked 14th in the state right now, Division Four. They played Oostburg, ranked number five, Division Three. They played ranked Cuba City, ranked number two, Division Four, and they played number one Racine Lutheran in Division Five. Could you repeat that? <laughs> How about that? And they, uh, three of their losses are to uh, ranked opponents, and they beat two of them. There's Coach Decker. Mike Diebold. 17th season. Todd has 216 wins. Decker with an almost steal, but uh, battered it out of bounds. It's 12 to four. Lutheran with a quick start to the ball game, and there's 442 left in the first. Yeah, they're shooting well. Christian's got, you know, they're hustling, and their defense are scrappy. The green shirts are just putting it in the hole. A good matchup for Zastro. He tips the ball away from Stecker, but knocked it out of bounds, and then a little extracurricular activity. Not used to seeing that in the Holy War by the shore. <laughs> Outside shot by Stecker is no good. Redeker with the rebound. Zastro open from the side. Can't get it to go. Rebound goes to Kelly. Well, Christian has to shoot well. There's no question if they want to hang in there. Well, you'd mentioned something earlier too about not allowing second shots because if they allow Lutheran to get second shots, it's really going to be tough. Calvert uh, has a tough matchup when he's got Decker on him. Yeah, he's averaging seven points a game, but if he gets seven tonight, he has, he's earned it. Oh, good block that time. Decker's fouled on the way in. Good that foul. Foul's going to go on Braden Adi. You're right, that was a good foul. Scott Staus handing the ball out of bounds. Redeker had a good idea with uh, Decker cutting down the baseline, but uh, Christian tipped it away. Bill Lightpalm's gonna toss it in. Well, there's that second chance, Chris, we had talked about. Zastro, fade away, got it. Fourteen to four. Out 
Hottie being guarded by Leipom. Well, Brady gets good penetration, but he just can't uh, finish. Well, yeah. Going with his left, to his left, he's probably not going to be able to get a good shot off. The kick out was a good idea, but uh, Zastro had uh, good hands tipping it away. Josh Sider coming in. Yeah, Corbett checks out. And coming in for uh, the Crusaders, Ben Leipom. And Jacob Juris, and uh, you'd mentioned his name in the opening too. He likes to shoot that three-pointer. This zone might be uh, tailor-made for him. Yep, Jacob Juris' dad, Jeff Juris, a very successful cross-country coach at Lutheran. State titles there in cross-country for Lutheran. Calvert, under pressure, couldn't get it in. Oh, good defense, good hands that time. And Adi couldn't get the layup. And out of control. Gotta slow down, boys. Both teams. Calvert, good help defense that time by Ben Leipom. Stecker loads up a three and nails it. Josh Stecker, their leading scorer. He's just a sophomore, as Marty mentioned, 13 points a game. Decker gliding down the baseline for an easy two to counter that three. It was an eight point run before uh, Stecker's three pointer by Lutheran. Shoot. <laughs> and score when all Open else fails. Kelly. Drive down. Ooh, going hard to the floor was uh, Phil Leipom. And I think he hit his head, Marty. Wow. That did not look good. He got fouled. He'll be shooting free throws if he's uh, able. Ooh, good replay carry. You know, that hurt to watch up here. 136 left, 16 to nine. It's nice to have our graphics and everything back so yeah. we don't have to announce it all the time. Right. And right. we actually, Marty, we have to kind of work. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the hardest working crew in Sheboygan? <laughs> Just ask us, we'll tell you. Good pressure by Jers. A lot of pressure being applied to the uh, guards of uh, Luke Christian. And there's a kick. <clears throat> I will say this, seems like Christian's getting deep, but they just don't, like we mentioned before, they don't have anybody to pass it to. Now it's good to get down there, but uh, like uh, Phil, or like Chris was saying, you still gotta finish. Calvert from outside the line, nails a three. Catch and shoot. 17 to 12. Zastro from 15, bango. <laughs> Kelly being pressured by uh, Phil Leipom. And good hands by Zastro. Oh. It was a Chris Wright pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but mine finds a spot. Yeah, so it is. <laughs> the same spot yours do. <laughs> oh. Look out for Decker. There's Johnny Decker in the uh, doorway in the blue coat there. Wheeler from the other side couldn't get it. Good hands by Sam. Right in the middle to Wheeler, and he puts it up and in. Nice pass. Wheeler four for five in a the quarter. There's Johnny Decker. Yeah, there he is. 10 points for uh, Wheeler. He could play too. Oh yeah, Johnny was a shooter. We talk about him like he's ancient. <laughs> he is. <laughs> 
Oh, they got him trapped in the corner. And that's the end of the first quarter with Lutheran on top, 21 to 12. Pretty exciting. It looked like they really had him down, Chris, but uh, Christian came back a little bit with a couple of those three-pointers. Artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare number. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected. We are this close. We are this close. Of our to making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close kind of to making sure no child suffers a crippling disease. Ever again. This we close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. Never look. This quarter were uh, Josh Wheeler with 10. And Sam Decker with six for Lutheran, for Christian. Uh, Andrew Korber had uh, four. And uh, Josh Decker had a three-pointer. 21 to 12 as we start second quarter action. Lutheran really plays good D. The ball game for the Eagles, the Eagles is Sam Andringa. Kelly off the glass and in. There's six of 12 shooting, Marty. Yeah, they're hitting their shots. They're not getting a lot of them though. Lutheran eight for 12. Wow. Uh, Wheeler is on fire. Another three pointer for that young man. Yeah, that's the fourth three pointer, third by him. They're four of six from out there. 24 to 14. And you just can't turn the ball over if you're Christian. If you want to hang, you got to take care of the basketball. Got to shoot well. And you got to take care of the ball. 24 to 14, your uh, score up on the screen is uh, one off. And uh, Lutheran has the ball. Early second quarter action. Oh, oh pass to Decker and he slams it in. Make it 26 to 14. That was nice. Came out of nowhere. Good rotation, but it left Calvert open and he missed. And Lutheran again, a little too quick, and Stecker comes up with the loose ball. And a whistle. We're going to get a foul on Lutheran, pushing. A little, little ride job there. Nick Redeker picking up that foul. So his first only, there's a slam dunk. Carey, you're on fire out there in the truck. We love it. Keep the replays coming. Light palm with an easy steal. Now he did something that was really smart, Chris Phil Light palm, is he took it right to the middle of the floor and Wheeler wheeled out to the uh, other side to fill the three lanes. But uh, what happened was the receiver didn't keep good spacing, and the uh, Light palm probably went a little too deep. Should have just shot it himself. Kelly posting up on uh, Wheeler. Outside shot by Andringa is good. Here's three of four from out there too. Good shooting all around. Light palm got the basket. But uh, charged before the shot, so no basket will be a foul on uh, Phil Lightpalm. 
We have wholesale substitutions here. Now for Leipon, that's his second. That was a very good call there by yep. Andy. And you could see it, the, uh, the player was definitely set. <clears throat> 26 to 17, just under six minutes remaining until halftime. Zastro trying for the steal, got it. But we get a whistle. I believe that foul is going to go on number 15, Joshua Stecker. It does. Saw Drew Powers and Grant Berkovich tonight, too. Yeah, they're looking good. A couple baseball players. Drew was a big three-point shooter. How can you be 6'5 and stand outside the three-point line and crank away? Get under the basket. It's a new era there, Marty. Time for changes, Marty. Ah! Sastro in traffic, couldn't get it. Decker with the rebound, then a whistle. Kyle Calvert's gonna get the foul, and that's his second. Foul starting to mount now for Christian, that's number six. Ooh. Oop, yeah, shuffle the feet. That was an easy one. Ben Leipom uh, shuffled the feet before he got the ball down. Look at this pressure here, and another steal. Zastro got it tipped away, but uh, Decker cleans up for an easy two. I think he lobbed that up to him, Marty. You think so? I yeah. thought he had it tipped away. Yeah, I think he wanted to do that. I know that's what I would do. <laughs> you'd have to throw it behind your back before you'd throw it. And then lob it? Yeah. <laughs> behind the back lob? <laughs> Another oh good defensive play. Making a steal that time was Jacob Juris. And another whistle. Five turnovers in two minutes and 50 seconds against Christian, and we are gonna get a timeout, Christian. Braden Adi committed that last fall, and Chris is right. There is a timeout on Christian, just a for Christian, with 5-10 uh, remaining. It's 28 to 17. Yeah, just a 30-second timeout, Marty. Just well, then we not taking, it here. yeah, just not taking care of the ball, Christian. I mean, like I said, if you want to hang in there, you got to shoot well and take care of the ball. But when you've turned the ball over eight times and five in the last 250, I think the pressure's uh, bothering them a little bit. In uh, JV action earlier tonight, Sheboygan Christian won a barn burner, 44 to 43. And uh, we were all sitting watching the end of the game hoping don't go into overtime, <laughs> and it didn't. But uh, Christian won it, 44-43 in JV action. Yeah, Lutheran had the ball with 15 seconds left, but good defense by Christian in that JV game. Held on for the victory. This will be a free throw number four for uh, Sam Decker. He's made two out of three. And pops in the next one. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points for uh, Sam Decker so far. And they're going to get Jerson now. Right, that'll be just the fourth foul on Lutheran where Christian has seven. Yeah, whistles are uh, pretty plentiful all of a sudden, Chris. Christian has committed seven, so Lutheran will be going to the line the rest of the half. I was wondering if he's going to dump it down there. Good hustle by Korber. That's got to be a foul on Redeker, though. Good hustle, but a little bit too aggressive. Corber does, uh, pardon me, Redeker does pick up the fall, and that's his second. 15 fall on the Crusaders. Jeff Hess in for the first time tonight. Pretty nice crowd here at uh, Christian High. The parking lot was jam packed, I'll say yep. that. But uh, on nights when it's uh, overflowing, you got them out on the street. And over 40. <laughs> 
Zastro picks up a foul. His first foul, sixth team foul on uh, Lutheran. Lutheran continues to play their man-to-man -man defense. Good help defense that time by uh, Hass, but uh, he reaches in and commits the foul. Is that four fouls on the possession? Three for sure. I think they had three and then, I don't know, three or four on the possession. Too many, whatever it is. Corber's uh, first points of the second quarter. That's a good shot. Andrew not able to make that second one. Decker gonna commit an offensive foul. Trying to do a little too much that time. That's his first. Andring up. Look out, below. And a fall. It's dangerous there, Mr. Kelly. Don't hit somebody when they're up like that. You're going to hurt someone. Yeah, that's one you just let go. Yep. Watch this. Kelly from behind. Be careful. That's one you just let him take the basket, take it out of bounds, let's go the other way. Play on. Should be 33 now, that is. Scoreboard here, it's 33 to 18, they didn't uh, change the board here. Yeah. Everything's up to par now, in the gym and on our screen. Well they had, Andringa had a shot underneath the basket and kicked it back out. Calvert taking it down the lane and scores off of Sam Decker. Oh yeah, Korber almost offensive foul down below. And a whistle. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. 30 second timeout for uh, Lutheran. Jacob. Todd Decker not very happy with Sam in that last play. Tell him to play smart and the uh, coach is right. Yeah, well, too late now, Chris. We'll tell him uh, later. I was just gonna say, uh, Jacob Jers tonight, uh, no attempts from out there in three-point range, and that's his bread and butter for Lutheran. He hasn't got a shot off yet. He's gotta get in that spot that uh, Wheeler was in out in the corner he, because he, that's where it was open. Yeah, and I was gonna say, he likes the opposite corner. Sam Decker with uh, 15 points in the ball game, leads all scores. Wheeler had a great start with uh, 10 in the first quarter and he's got a three in the second quarter. He has 13 points. And another turnover by uh, Christian. There he is. Juris, rainbow, couldn't, and he got it in. A three. Looked like one of Aubrey Koyster's shots. No. <laughs> <laughs> he made one of those today. Yeah, but he doesn't, he's different. One, I know, it was just one of his shots. <laughs> he's too pure. Zastro steps right around a defender for the layup, but he couldn't get it in. And then Kelly with the good hustle picks up the loose ball. Adi, first time he's really looked to score, Chris, and drew the foul, Juris picks it up. 
Yeah, I don't have any uh, shot attempts for uh, Adi. Oh, yeah, I do. I have one, one shot yeah, attempt for Brady. I don't remember him yeah. shooting one, but... Uh, Good baseball player, Marty, plays uh, Legion Baseball. Braden does? Yep. Couldn't get the first of a one and one in. Oh. <laughs> Don't throw it so hard. Matt Gum, not ready for that pass. Coming in for the Eagles is uh, Davin DeMaster. We did a little research, Davin, to make sure we are pronouncing it right. I hope we are. D-A-E-V-I-N. Yeah, we had checked out a couple times. So we're going with Davin. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly travels. 227 remaining. Lutheran on top by 16. They've had it since early on. They scored uh, a three. Lutheran answered, or pardon me, Christian answered with a two, and then another three, and uh, since then it's been all Lutheran. Sastro, three-point attempt, rims out for Hess, and then a scramble on the floor and a whistle. All goes on Andrew Korber. And uh, going to the line is Jeff Hess. There's some little fans enjoying tonight's game and behaving themselves. In 10 years, we'll be playing here, Marty. That's what they're saying. Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Under two minutes. 37 to 20. Kelly. And I believe Zastro's going to pick that foul up, Chris. Well, it was 7 to 3 in fouls, and uh, Lutheran has passed him by and takes a 10 to 9 lead. <laughs> Double bonus for Kelly, gets the first. Long quarter, Marty. Very long, a lot of falls. And With turnovers. about uh, four minutes left in the quarter, that's when the uh, fall fest started. Minute 45, 37 to 22. Almost taken away by Adi. Zastro comes away with it. His shot on lane is no good. Hess put it up, no good. Decker controls. Wheeler? No good, but Decker with the tip in. Sam just rising above the crowd. 39 22. Watch this tip. Right there. Yep. Back to live action. Kelly has it. It's 39 22. Lutheran on top. 50 seconds left. Korber looking to get it inside. Kelly drew the foul. Pardon me, that wasn't Kelly. That was uh, Greg Scheidt. Wheeler picks up the foul, his first. Scheid will be shooting a pair.
Oh, he missed them both. That was Sam's ninth rebound of the game, Marty. Wow. It seems like a quiet nine. Zastro couldn't wait to get it and shoot it. And tipped out of bounds by uh, Scheidt. Lutheran will keep it with 26 seconds left. And uh, <laughs> Zastro thought he was coming out because he shot too quick, but uh, <laughs> they're going to leave him in. He's struggling tonight, just two of eight from the floor. Had a wonderful uh, week down in Mequon against Cuba City and Racine Lutheran. Wisconsin Basketball Yearbook Classic, or shootout, I think they call it. Yep. Looks like uh, Lutheran is going to be content to run the clock down. Rolling down, there's uh, 10 seconds left. Somebody get under the basket. Redeker. Nice pass. Catch Shot it. block. Good block by Scheidt off of Hess. And then a whistle with .9 seconds left. What for? And Zastro, I believe, is going to pick up his third. Yes, he is. And what for? Look how far away from the basket they are, Tyler. That was not a smart decision. Well, Hess got a great pass from... Uh, Decker and uh, just couldn't finish. Wow, it was Redeker, I think, but he's got to catch and just shoot it. I mean, that should just be automatic. Kelly pops in the first free throw. Thirty-nine twenty-four. At, uh, and that's halftime. All Lutheran in the first half. It ends with a 15 point lead at 39 24. Fried ants are delicious. We finished a clinic in our, in our rainstorm. Really? My students actually ended up teaching me. In La Cague, a la Quine. Think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. After two months, I was ready to quit, but after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience. To all the Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, thank you for your service to your country and the I'm Owen Yeoman for Peter. I used to eat a lot of meat. Like a lot of people, I never really gave it much thought. But then I saw how violently animals raised for food are treated, and I didn't want to support that. The fact that the meat on my plate was once a living, breathing creature became something I could no longer ignore or justify as food. So I stopped eating meat, just like that. And my body and my conscience feel healthier for it. I'm Owen Yeoman, and I'm a vegetarian. I've got my own problems to worry about. Those people in Africa don't want to help themselves. What's the point? Where's the proof? Actually, smart programs are saving lives. In just 10 years, over 15 million more kids are alive. All less than 1% of the total U.S. budget. How's that for proof? And today, there are new vaccines that could save millions of more kids. Go to one.org and join the movement. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your voice. Back at Christian High School, wrapping up the uh, halftime activities. Some first half scoring, Sam Decker led all scores with 17 points. He was followed by Josh Wheeler with 13, and then chipping in with four was Tyler Zastro, and then three by uh, Jacob Juris, hit a three-pointer, and then one point each by Jeff Hess and Phil Leipom for uh, the Eagles of Christian High. They were led by uh, Caleb Kelly with eight, Kyle Calvert had five. Chipping in with three each was uh, Sam Andringa and Joshua Stecker. Stecker's their leading scorer, so that's a little bit surprising there. And then uh, 
adding five points to uh, the Eagles score was uh, Andrew Korber. And uh, he had uh, four early points and uh, hit on a free throw in the second quarter. But uh, for the most part, it's been uh, Lutheran all the way, Chris. Yeah, they just, the pressure was a lot for them to handle. They shot uh, 14 for 26 from the floor, five of 10 from three point range. Sheboygan Christian shooting 50%, but those 11 turnovers really costly. And we're off in the second half. Uh, Zastro had a tough half, uh, had trouble making baskets. Had some pretty good looks. Lipom goes down again, that's the third time. He's getting to know the floor here at uh, <laughs> Sheboygan County Christian High. Yeah, we mentioned, for if you haven't been watching much, we mentioned that Christian, very young, Stecker just a sophomore leading scorer, and Kelly a freshman leading scorer, and Brady Adi is third, or third, fourth on the team in scoring, but he's just a sophomore, so very youth is served. There's a sophomore, Zastro, with the miss. Yeah, maybe should have came down with it. Good pass by Decker. Back to that very active zone by Christian. I thought they started off very good. It's just that Lutheran hit those threes. Yeah, Wheeler was hot in that first half, especially the first quarter. He had 10. Decker got the rebound, and there's a whistle and a foul underneath. Korber picks up another foul. Two quick ones here in the third quarter. He now has three. And, uh, Brett Flipsy's leaving him in. Good swing pass. Wheeler from the corner couldn't get it. Decker with the save and Zastro with the basket. Zastro now has uh, six points. Yeah, he's really struggling from the floor, Marty, though. He's just three of 11. Adi, Korber with a 10-footer, pops it in. Three of four on the floor for him tonight. Decker from outside the line, nails it, and he's fouled by Calvert. Could be a rare four-point play. Right now it's an 18 point lead with a free throw. It could be up to 19, which is right now it's the largest lead of the game. And he finishes it off. Calvert, got it. Timeout Christian, 32nd timeout. Calvert, hey, I was worried about him getting his points, but he's hitting those threes. He's now three of five from the floor, Marty. And he has eight points, and uh, two of those baskets are three-pointers. I thought when uh, Sam recovered on Calvert, you know, he was taking a shot, he came at him low. What he should have done was came, came at him with his hand up, just on the uh, right side of your screen is Chuck Benedum. And those are those two little kids who were running the baseline. <laughs> With the Sam Decker shirts. <laughs> yeah. I think they're just that awesome. Light bomb? It's one yeah. of the light bombs. Yep. They're all over the place. Yeah, I just think that's awesome, those jerseys. Sam's uh, 680s, probably two, two of those boys. Hey, Chris, what's your number? Because I want to get a jersey. What's your number? <laughs> Double O. <laughs> I think that's pretty neat. I saw those last week in Mequon. I'll tell you, if Cuba City doesn't win Division Four, I'll be shocked because they are good. Dominican's good too, but I'll tell you, Cuba City is, <laughs> they are huge. Yeah, I got some bad news for the Eagle fans. Corber just picked up his fourth. And that's, what, two in the last minute, 45, Ooh. not what you expected. Three in this quarter. Oh, three in this quarter, I'm yeah. sorry. Three in the first two minutes. Phil Lipom on the line shooting a pair. I could think of something that would be worse, Chris, if this backboard that's right in front of us blocking our view, if it was metal. 
<laughs> At least it's glass. Yeah. It's out. For those of you who don't know, they always put up the side baskets. Well, they didn't put them up high enough, and it's right in our view at the basket. It's not so much for making the baskets, like for rebounds and stuff, it's just tough to see who's the number. Calvert was uh, grabbed by uh, Decker on the arm. He picks up the foul. That'll be his second. Fourth, second team foul. Oh, pardon me, that's the first team foul on Luther in this, uh, this half. And Dringa had it on the wing, clears it out to uh, Kelly. Braden Adi, his ball is tipped away by Decker, but he couldn't get control of it. Oh, Stecker with a behind the back dribble and goes to the hoop, but then he commits the offensive foul. And there you go. Zastro standing in there. Saw a good defeat. That's the, the, whatever I was trying to say, good defensive positioning there by Zastro. It was a real nice play by Stecker to make the uh, pickup on the sideline, but uh, I agree. A little better defense by Zastro. Dump it into the big guy. Instead, Zastro pounds a three in. Man, his last two baskets. 50 to 29. It's been a good run here in the third quarter by uh, the Crusaders. Eleven five run to start the second half. That's the kind of defense that Coach Decker does not accept. But I'm catching the post, and the first thing you do is go in there and reach. Wheeler checking out for that uh, mistake on defense. Some of our fans. Calvert's jump shot is no good. Decker trying to tip it in and did, but uh, Christian came away with it. Andringa. No good. A oh, nice pass into uh, Redeker who lays it up and in. Sam Decker with the good look. Rolling down to the four minute mark and uh, Calvert has it stolen away by Decker. He deked him into that pass. We get a whistle on the outside. Paul's gonna go on uh, Kyle Calvert. That'll be his third. Oop, they got him for his fourth. You know, I was missing one in the first half. He was the guy. That's a big ouch. Yeah, another guy out. Corber and Calvert with four fouls. Calvert, excuse me. Well, Decker just uh, quite a bit taller than uh, Kelly and just put the rebound basket up and in. Who shot the first one there? Uh, that was... Uh, Who did he rebound there? Yeah, I think it was uh, Redeker, 35. Thank you. And a steal. Hess, nice bounce pass to oh, Zastro. My. He was bumped on the shot. Put it up and in, no call. There you see the replay in the bump, wow. 56 to 29. What a run here by the Crusaders. Well, again, it's just turnovers, Marty. 11-point run. And they just keep adding up. 15 turnovers now. There's another young fran uh, fan. Good shots tonight by both Richard. Richard Bartson up on top by us. Oh my. Decker again up above the crowd, slams oh. it home. 
That was quite amazing. That he went up and over and to reach that. Putting that shot up and in was uh, Garrett Kloppenhauer. And you were waiting to call that name. You better believe it. So was Garrett. Garrett just a junior as well. That last foul was on uh, Braden Adi, it's his third. Zastro puts in the free throw. Once again, Christian sitting with seven fouls. Lutheran just two. And we're not even in the fourth quarter. Nope, and we got uh, three minutes left here. Sixty to thirty-one. Kelly trying to get in the lane. Pretty good defense that time. Adi off. Got it to go. Braden Adi, nice shot. Finally got that lane to open up for him. Zastra trying to match it. Whistle underneath, we'll have to see who this is on. Nick Rediker picking up the foul. Andringa back in the ball game. Also uh, in is uh, Davin DeMaster. Good uh, defense ball. by Redeker. Yeah. Josh Sider on the attempted drive down the lane. Tell you what, that's one thing. You get a nice force like that, and you, they get to keep the ball. I mean, that's just good defense. That one should go to the D. Well, he gets it right back. Two minutes left in the third quarter. It's 60 to 33. Here's Luther. the old uh, one play. Right Stolen to them. away by Zastro. Andringa got the rebound. Then Zastro falls down and gets called for the travel, but good hustle by uh, Tyler Zastro. Yeah, Ben Leipom coming off that, uh, I don't know if it was a double screen or not, but he was the down screen. second cutter in the lane possibly. Uh, he was wide open, <laughs> whatever. Coach Decker. Uh, Taking a play from North Eye, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, we used to run that a long time ago, Marty. Long, long, long time ago. That's the old offense that the state champion team played back in 86. It's a very good offense, not just for easy baskets, but good ball control as well. Oh, easy steal, pass, up and in. <laughs> 29 point lead now by the Crusaders. Kloppenauer has it on the wing. Leipon playing a tough defense on the wing on Kloppenauer. I just can't stop saying that name though. <laughs> Under a minute in the third. Oh, nice back cut and a good pass by Andringa. And the easy layup for Sider. That was sweet. Full time out, Kerry, let's take a short break. We'll be right back. I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post our site. I saw your post our site. 
I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1-800-RUNAWAY to make the connection. Head in her hands. I don't think she's worried about the outcome. No. It's to me a little bit... Uh Tough for Christian and I to mount a comeback. I see some nice things. I mean, they're scrappy on D. The dry penetration is there. Got to cut down on the turnovers a little bit. Uh, that's for sure. Well, there was Brickle was in that last shot of the fans. A little press here by Christian. Gum kicks it back out to Juris. Shot bounces high off the rim. Sider with the board. That's Jacobs' just second shot of the whole night. One of two. Christian moving the ball around nicely. They're down to 12 seconds left in the quarter. Sider's gonna take the last shot, I think. And then we get a late whistle on Hess. Come on, man, what are you doing? Fourth team foul on the Crusaders. Jeff picks up his uh, second. And the master tossing it in. Good little move at the end there by uh, Josh Sider to get the shot off, but it didn't go down. We're at the end of three quarters of play. All Lutheran, 62 to 35. Fuzzy, but I know it started off in the kitchen because there were definitely mashed potatoes involved. Her leg was like here, and her head was like here. I still don't know how a human body could do that. I think she used to be in a circus or something. But the most important part about the best sex I've ever had was that it was consensual and it was protected. Very crazy three days, though. <laughs> One of the healthiest and most popular activities a family can do together is hiking. Speaking of health, this year the U.S. Departments of Agriculture and Health and Human Services issued an advisory urging all Americans to eat seafood twice a week for heart health. Environmentally speaking, it's best to choose seafood that's low on the food chain, like brizzling sardines, mackerel, or rockfish. To keep the environment beautiful, observe outdoor ethics, leave no trace, and help keep America beautiful. Just starting fourth quarter action. It was a 23 point quarter by the Crusaders. The Eagles only scored 11. Consequently, we have a 27 point advantage by Christian. Eight of 15 in the quarter for Luther. 22 for 40, 41. Seven for 14 from outside of the three, or the big line to make three point shots. Luther just 13 of 24 there. Five of eight in a quarter, but the problem is they don't get enough shots off. Well, I meant to say Lutheran with that 27 point advantage. Yep. Zastrel loads up from three and nails it, and he's uh, starting to feel his oats there, Chris. Yeah, like I said, he started off just two of 10, but he's hit his last four of five. Stecker's shot is no good. And uh, good hustle by Christian, but they weren't able to come up with it. It's 
Sastro has 16 points now, Chris, after having only four. Calvert, his shot was and didn't go in. Rebound put back by Scheidt is no good, but he's fouled. Phil Lipom picks up the foul. Scheidt will be at the line shooting a pair. I was mentioning before, uh, five of eight shooting for Christian in the third quarter, just three of five shooting in the second quarter. That means you're either getting fouled a lot or you're turning it over a lot. And uh, Probably turning it over a lot. Too, too many turnovers, 15 in the last two quarters, plus the deficit. Scheidt puts in a pair. 65-37, Lutheran, Wheeler on a nice catch, is gonna take it right down Main Street but couldn't get the layup in, and then he's fouled underneath the basket. And I believe it's the master. Coast to coast. Surprised Korber's back, not back in there. He's still sitting on the Christian bench with four fouls. Calvert's in there with four fouls for Christian as well. Those are the first points of the second half, or the first point of the second half for uh, Josh Wheeler. He ended the first half with uh, 13, and now has 14 and 15 on those two free throws. Yeah, he was five of seven shooting. Now he's five of nine shooting. Great first half, like Marty mentioned. It's also three of six from three-point range. Well, on the scoreboard it says the third period, but we really are in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. Adi. You're not gonna get that Got one. it in, oh boy. I would say he's not gonna get that charge, uh, Zastro that is. A lot of English and Zastro's not gonna shy back and he takes it right to the lane. And to the basket and puts it in. Lutheran getting out on the break a little bit more here in the second half. Good help defense by Tyler Zastro, but he uh, knocks it out of bounds. Zastro now seven of 16. He's taking the most shots for uh, anybody on the floor tonight. That's okay. He's a left-hander, let him shoot. <laughs> oh, shite, unlucky on that. Point blank range. Zastro never met a shot he didn't like. <laughs> I think in general, Chris, Zastros are known for that. <laughs> that must run in that, uh, the jeans. Adi picked up his fourth foul. There he comes. Andrew Korber, the 6'4 junior. He puts this in, Chris. I think this is Astro's 20th point. He's had a huge second half after having only four in the first half. Both starting lineup for Christian on the floor. All the starters for Lutheran except for Jers. Nice steal by Lipom. And he takes it to the hole and puts it in. I like to see that because that's the kind of things down the line Lutheran's going to need contributors like Lipom there going real hard to the basket. They get Kelly on and over and back. The half court pressure got to him. Here's a lob. Couldn't get it to go and no call. Calvert couldn't get it, got his own rebound. Had a good look and put it up and in. Nice shot by Kyle Calvert.
Nice kick out pass, Juris with a rainbow shot, no good. Decker with an easy put back. 75-43. Nice look. Yep, three point basket by Josh Decker. Seventy-five, forty-four. Is this a full timeout? Yes, sir. Full timeout, Kerry. Let's take a short break. See, they, they got that uh, period correct now. It's the fourth, <laughs> uh, 31 point lead. And uh, this is the fourth foul, uh, pardon me, fourth foul. Fourth time out used by uh, Christian. They have one remaining. And uh, Andy Hansen is right there signaling one left. Well, I thought you brought up, brought up an excellent point and you brought it up during the game, Chris, is uh, Lutheran is definitely battle tested. and. Uh, as we play through the season and get into tournament action, it's going to really be a big benefit to them. Zastro will pull up 12-footer. Couldn't get it. And we're going to get a foul. I think that's going to go on uh, number 24, Greg Scheidt. It is. Astro has 16 points in the second half. He has 20 wow. on the night, looking for 21 and 22. Wow, and he started off two of eight, Marty. Yeah. Two of 10, excuse me. Almost steal. can hear a pin drop in here, Marty. Very quiet. Yep. Decker on the steal. He's pushed out of bounds, picking up the foul, be shite. And uh, Sam Decker will be at the line, shooting a pair. I got Sam with 27 points on the night, Chris, along with uh, Zastro's 22, that's uh, 49. And then if you take the uh, 15, I believe it is, by uh, Wheeler, that's a pretty good production from those three. Well, I have other stuff to mention about Sam, but I'm not gonna yet. What, socks don't match or what? I'm not telling you, <laughs> not telling you. I don't wanna know them. Until he's out of the game. Free throw shooting's been good tonight by Sam. We'll figure that out in a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> He's three for three in the second half. Three thirty left in the ball game. Ooh. Almost steal by Decker. Good cut off of the baseline that time. Josh Sider trying to take it in there. Stecker will kick it out. Shite. Bango. He gets his first bucket. A 30 second timeout by Lutheran. Let's check out Sam's free throws. One for two, three for four. Three for four, 
Four for five. Six for seven. Pretty good. Next broadcast, Marty? Next Friday, Ashwaubenon at yeah, North, Yeah, next right? Friday, we will be at uh, Sheboygan North. That's January 13th when Ashwaubenon comes to town to play uh, the Raiders. That should be a real good game. And then uh, our game after that will be on uh, January 17th. I believe that's a Tuesday. Uh, we'll be over at South covering them. Yeah, you'll probably have to get a partner for that, Marty. So anybody perspective, anybody that wants to partner up with me, give uh, the station a call. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just pull somebody out of the crowd. Like Carrie? Well, I don't know. Scott might be the director, so oh. yeah, Carrie would be available. Nice pass. Good basket that time by Ben Lipom. 81-46. 235 left in the ball game. Here's Coach Flipsy. Almost the flip time for uh, Christian. They've almost played everybody in the league. I had a chance to talk to him at a wedding this summer, and uh, he said he's going to have a very young team. Gum with a nice steal. Whoa, almost steal by Stecker. Juris to Gum. Hit it. Off, no good. Phil Lightpump, gum again. Hey, Wrigley, Spearman, gum. <laughs> that was my most favorite call of the year right there, Chris. <laughs> 130. Ninth three for Luther tonight by gum making the ninth one. They're nine of 17 from there, so. This one you wanted. That's pretty good. Yeah, and I said Christian needed them not to shoot well. They've shot very well from out there. You know what it is, Chris? Excuse me. At nine uh, for 18. I'm sorry. They must have repainted underneath here, and, and the lighting is different because it's much brighter than I yep. remember it being in here. Seems that way. And the cameras are, are picking it up, too. I mean, we've get, we're getting better, uh, better shots tonight than we have in the past because of... Uh, the lighting is much better. Oh, Kelly with a nice catch and a turnaround shot for two points. Hess putting on a little Metal Arc Lemon exhibition. Under a minute. You gonna go down and interview anybody? Yep, I was gonna mention about uh, Sam Decker. Uh, Jay. Wanted to mention before was he ended up nine or excuse me ten for ten from the floor, Marty. Whoa! So I didn't want to jinx awesome, him. Baby. That's why I didn't want to jinx him. Hey, good idea. And he had fourteen rebounds. Wow, a double double. We don't keep track of st of uh, assists. He would not have had ten assists, but he certainly had a few and uh, would have had a few more had his teammates made some baskets. Offensive foul that time on uh, Davin. The master. That pass was actually intended for uh, Matt Gum, but uh, Hess picked it up. Nice pass inside. Nice easy layup for Ben Lipom. He has four. Shot by Kelly at the buzzer is no good and that's the end of the ball game. Sheboygan Lutheran with an easy 86, 48 win. Chris is downstairs, hopefully you'll get a couple of the uh, Crusader players to interview and uh, I'll, have you, I'll have some scoring and uh, we'll wrap this ball game up.
Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwateriswierd.com. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Some people might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. Have you heard? Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare numbers. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected floor with Sam Decker and Nick Redeker is Chris Wright. Take it away, Chris. Hey, I'm here with two Lutheran guys. Uh, Nick Redeker, let's start with you, you and Sam here. You guys haven't played since December 27th. Was it nice to get out and bang on somebody else besides guys in your own practice? Yes, sir. It felt a lot better than banging on your own guy, that's for sure. <laughs> These games are always rival games and things. You never know what happens. You guys came out with a win tonight, but you never know in these crosstown rival games, do you? No, sir, you don't. That's why you have to come out playing like you got something to prove. Um, they're a great team. We just have to play our ball, and we got it. I thought this year you guys have really worked on your defense. All through the year, you guys have really picked it up, and to be a successful team or a championship team, you guys got to really work on D, and I think you guys have done a nice job with that. Thank you. That's, that's our main goal for the year is improving, constantly improving, and after that tournament, that's the thing we've been preaching out throughout this entire week getting ready for Christian. It's yeah, defense. I was down there to watch you guys play those guys. I thought you guys had a lot of heart, but those guys are some big boys, but stuff like that is going to help you along the line, there's no question. Yes, sir. It's all about maturing. We're so young. That's we got to come together as a team. we got to pick up our defense, keep on scoring like the way we've been scoring, and we'll be in great shape. And Coach Decker really does stress defense. I know that for sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, good luck with you, Nick. We're going to see you in like a week or so. Sam, congratulations. You guys are off to a great start. You've already played five ranked teams, and that can do nothing but help you guys throughout the year. Yeah, especially for having a, uh, big, a group of freshmen and sophomores out there, guys with an experience. Playing these good teams like Cuba City and Racine Lutheran like we have in Oostburg, um, it can do nothing but uh, good for our future. And uh, down the line in the state, here, when, if, if we get to state in playoff time, all these good teams we play are really um, I, cheering us up for that. And there's no question. I, I definitely think that's a good point you made, Sam. I think the maturity, I, just even from the first game of the year, you guys had to you know, open up against Green Bay Newen and Oostburg, you can yeah. definitely see the, the, the maturing of some of the, the young yeah. guys. And, and it just took those guys getting used to varsity basketball and us playing together. This is a group we've never played with each other. Sometimes we have a freshman, three sophomores, and myself out there. So there's times when we still don't know what to do with each other and uh, times where we'll get a little edgy or... Just some immaturity sometimes, myself included. So, uh, but all that stuff is smoothing out and uh, getting a lot better. And I noticed the shooting has really been something that you guys really do well. I mean, Jers and Zastro and Wheeler today was hitting some threes. You got a lot of guys that can really hit the three. And, you know, when they cave down on you, you got to count on those guys banging in those threes. And, of course, guys like Nick underneath. Yeah, most nights we have three or four guys in double figures. Um, when we can get that balanced scoring through a unit, um, it, it, it's, it can do nothing but good. I know, I, I know teams are going to key on me, and every night it's going to be like that. And if those guys can continue to hit shots and shoot with confidence, it can be nothing but good because um, then they have more than one or two weapons to stop. 
Yeah, I know tonight you guys hit three, or excuse me, nine three-pointers tonight, to, which really helps. And, you know, when you're going to shoot like that, good things are going to happen. Yeah, I mean, it always helps when you put the ball in the hoop, you know. And uh, when, when our guys can do that with confidence, it's going to be good. You guys are almost uh, flipped the season already, almost the second half already. And it's hard to believe it's the middle of the season. It's January already, and, you know, March isn't that far down the line. Yeah, as uh, Coach Decker said, he, he says there's three, three stages to the season, and tonight was uh, part of stage two after Christmas. So uh, this is this is where we have to get going, buckle down, and get some big wins and uh, continue our momentum uh, going into the playoff time. Well, congratulations, Sam and Nick, to both you gentlemen. And uh, we'll see you guys in like a week or so. We'll be back watching you guys play. With that, we'll send it back to Marty. Again, the final was uh, Lutheran 86, Christian 86, Luth uh, Christian 80, 48. Uh, the turn of the game happened in the third quarter when uh, Lutheran went off for 23 points to only 11 for uh, Christian, and that turned a 15-point advantage at halftime to a 27-point advantage at the end of the third quarter. Leading scorers for the Eagles was Kyle Calvert and uh, Caleb Kelly with 10 each. Chipping in with seven was Andrew Korber, and uh, with six, uh, Joshua Stecker. Stecker, the high scorer for uh, the Eagles, was really held in check tonight. Uh, for uh, the Crusaders, Sam Decker led all scorers with 29 points. Uh, chipping in with 18 second-half points was uh, Tyler Zastro. He was held to only four, had 18 in the second half to finish with uh, 22. And also in double figures was Matt Wheeler, who had a very strong first half, had 13, he had two in the second half. Uh, but my favorite call of night was when Matt Wrigley Spearman Gum nailed a three from the left corner. He ended up the ball game with three points. Our next game is going to be January 13th when Ashwabadon comes to Sheboygan North. That'll be next Friday. And uh, for the crew, Kerry Coutzer, our director, Richard Bartson running the top camera, Eric Wiesman doing the bottom camera, my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road.